How's everyone doing? This is going to be a bit of a different video. Uh, this is going to be <laughs> a video where I show you this bag that I just found uh, that was in a box of some sports memorabilia that I have. Uh, that's a thing that some of you might not know. Uh, I'm big into sports memorabilia. I've collected sports memorabilia for years. Um, I have a T206 baseball card, tobacco card collection, uh, but I also have a lot of signed uh, baseballs and helmets and things like that, football helmets, uh, basketballs. Um, I actually got rid of, unfortunately, had to throw out a bunch of signed baseballs, including the majority of my signed Hall of Fame baseball collection, uh, because I had them all in a Steiner case. Really, it was like a $100 Steiner case, a big one. I had a few different ones, but I had the, the one where, I can't remember if it was how many balls were in there, but it was the biggest one that I think they had. A display case for it and you know it's supposed to protect UV all that kind of stuff but mold got in there um, I had them stored at a place where it was on the ground floor it wasn't in a basement wasn't anywhere damp but somehow there was some mold maybe in the walls or something and it got on the balls it was wearing away the autographs as well um, it was simply bizarre I don't know how it happened but some of the for some of the reasons are unbeknownst to me if I had them in a plastic bag like uh, some of the ones in here, I had the balls wrapped in a plastic bag. The plastic bag kept them protected from the mold because they're all in the same spot. But the ones in the Steiner cases did not. Like I had a whole bunch of ones in like single dis uh, display cases. And uh, then I had ones in double display cases. Then I had the big multi-ball uh, collection set that was in the display case all by Steiner, top of the line. But it didn't protect it against the mold. So I don't know if I should write to Steiner about that or what, but very disappointing because I had a decent size Hall of Fame baseball collection uh, that is just, I had to get rid of. I mean, there's no way you can get the mold off. It wore away, eroded the autographs, the ink. Uh, and then there's big mold splotches. Some of my favorite ones too, which is such a shame. I can't get, you know, some of these players anymore because some of them have passed on. Uh, and it was, you know, decently pricey too, but I'll go ahead and show you uh, some of the stuff that I have in here. First up, I'll, I'll start off with a bang. Let me put this down here, I guess, for now. Uh, is my Joe DiMaggio signed index card from, uh, this is authenticated through JSA, and you got Beckett right there as well. So I thought that was uh, pretty awesome. I got this a long time ago now, and I want to get this actually framed maybe with a, a picture and then have this underneath. So, Joe DiMaggio. That's uh, one of the records that probably, uh, the hit streak will probably won't be broke. And next up, I've got this glove, which is unfortunately getting worn. I had some plastic around it. This is definitely unfortunate right here. This is disappointing. Uh, this is PSA DNA. Uh, it's Jake LaMotta, and he inscribed Raging Bull. And then there's the PSA, which is, you know, in the top of the line as far as authenticating in uh, the sports memorabilia world and autograph world in general, but uh, a little bit of damage right there to the glove. And then right here, some peeling on the glove as well. And I had this in this bag probably for years now, so that that's definitely unfortunate. But uh, I think I'm still going to display this one too. The autograph still looks good, but uh, that peeling right there is, is disappointing. I guess uh, it's more so the glove and maybe the way that I had it stored. Yeah, there's peeling on this side too. I think that's actually not even the way that I had it stored. I think it's just the, the glove, and I don't... That's disappointing but maybe uh, I would say I'd get a Steiner display case for it but now I'm kind of worried but the place I, I moved from uh, you know this the place that I'm at now doesn't have any mold anywhere so that's a positive at least and of course Jake LaMotta is who Robert De Niro played in the biopic Raging Bull directed by Martin Scorsese all-time classic sports movie and boxing movie uh, just a phenomenal performance in movie and he's had actually a couple other movies based on him as well I think there's one that just came out recently uh, the Bronx Bull. So a legendary fighter who had his own demons as well. But uh, very happy to have this in my collection. And uh, I gotta take better care of it apparently. But I think some of this wasn't due to the fact that I was having stored in this bag. Um, I think it's just where I guess the, the glove that might have just been cheaply made. Uh, again, it hasn't seen sunlight or anything like that. But still I think it'll look nice in like a display case. And let's go ahead and show you some more, uh, I think all the rest are baseballs in here. So this is the stat ball, which I love. This is from like uh, ReggieJackson.com. He, he I, I don't know if he's still doing this, but uh, I hope he does a lot more in these, if not. I mean, 
I, I love this whole stat ball design. You got the nice display case in here, or the box rather. And um, here's the comes with a little card too. ReggieJackson.com, and it's it's for Joe Morgan. It goes over all of the stats and things like that. Big red machine, and it comes in a nice little felt satchel kind of bag. And you open it up. And there's the little hologram too, but there you go. It's got a ton of different. Uh, this is out of a thousand. I think a lot of these ones were out of it. Well, thousand. But uh, yeah, you've got tons of different stats on there. That's why it's called the stat ball. So I actually I love these. Uh, these are pretty pricey, so I, this is the only one that I have currently. But I definitely want to get more. It's so weird to me that some of the ones... Like, I always get the the authentication cards and keep them in there. But the ones that uh, have uh, the plastic bags on them, save them from the mold. Uh, is Warren Spawn, which is uh, JSA certified. But uh, one, of the, one of the classics right there, Great Pitcher, Hall of Fame 73, 363 wins. And I love the inscriptions, too. I'm big into the inscriptions. And here is uh, Jesse Barfield. I remember him, an uh, old Yankee player. Well, not really old, but like uh, 80s, 90s. So, I don't know. This isn't a Hall of Fame player, but it was a player that I remember following when I was a kid, too. Cubs is my favorite team, but the Yankees is second. And I lived in, the, I lived in New York for a while, so I follow the Yankees. Uh, here's another um, Hall of Fame ball. Oh, ah, this is disappointing. I see a little bit of mold on this one. I didn't notice this before. A lot of bit of mold. Um, Jim Bunning, right there, Hall of Fame 96. Uh, that's disappointing. There's some, you see the mold right there. Little spots. This is a uh, PSA. Ah, that is disappointing. I can't, see this one it can be saved because it, it looks like the autograph is still fine. But I don't know how to really get the mold off of there. And that worries me about it getting onto other balls, maybe. So, yeah, I thought the plastic protected all. I looked at most of these ones before. And there's Harmon Killebrew, which is fantastic player. All-time great. Hall of Famer, obviously. Hall of Fame 84. This ball is clean. No mold on this one. But, yeah, that's, that's so disappointing. you got to take really good care of uh, your sports memorabilia. But yeah, the mold thing kind of came out of nowhere. I, you know, so that was really shocking to me. All right, this one's good and clean too. Uh, George Kell, Hall of Fame '83. But yeah, I'm, I've probably lost about, I want to say, 40 balls that ended up having mold or some kind of damage on them, um, that were, you know, decently uh, bad. So, and I didn't really want to bring any over to the new place. Uh, see, this one, too, has got some damage. How did this one... Bob Feller, Hall of Fame 61, and you can see the autograph was wearing away. Um, I'm assuming that's from the mold, because it wasn't in, in light. It was literally down in the box like this, wrapped in plastic in this bag that was in a box. And it wasn't in, you know, a basement or attic or anything like that. It was on the fir first floor of a townhouse. So, yeah, you can see that it's wearing away, and that is very upsetting to me. Bob Feller... Uh, one of the greatest pitchers, too. Uh, I don't know. If anybody has any insight in this, let me know. Again, this was um, JSA right there. Yeah, authentication. I think a lot of people aren't aware of uh, when you get sports memorabilia or memorabilia in general, general. If you want it to really maintain value, you have to get a third-party authenticator, which costs money to do. And this is one of my favorite balls. Thank goodness this one isn't uh, ruined. Uh, this is JSA. Authenticated right there. It's from three of the great uh, Baltimore Oriole players. Brooks Robinson. Frank Robinson. Brooks Robinson was the 70 World Series MVP. So they're doing their World Series MVP. And then on the top here, you've got Rick Dempsey, MVP, the 83 World Series. He was the catcher. Great team that year. Cal Ripken Jr., Jim Palmer. So many legends in there. Eddie Murray. So yeah, this is a pretty cool one. Again, the Orioles aren't one of my favorite teams, but they have some fantastic, great players. Uh, again, Brooks Robinson, Frank Robinson, you know, Cal Ripken Jr., Eddie Murray, Jim Palmer, just a few. Um, but yeah, so these, this one was kind of just a cool one that all three were on this ball. I thought it was something unique and cool for uh, World uh, Series MVPs side on one ball right there for a team. I would love to get something like that for uh, other teams as well that I, you know, were standout players, Hall of Famers too. 
So I, I like that one where there's multiple players or multiple, you know, stuff on a ball, like the stat ball or different inscriptions and stuff like that. Next up, oh, this is another one that's, oh, that is super disappointing. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's, it's Julio Franco. Um, it's Steiner authenticated, but it's fading away big time. And yeah, I thought I saw mold in here. Maybe it's mold on this bag. Actually, yes, it is. It's mold in the bag. I don't know if you can see that. If that comes up on the camera or not, but it's, there's mold on this bag. So I'm going to be throwing this bag out, but yeah, you can tell this is one of the things that the mold does. It wears away the autograph for some reason, but yeah, there there's, looks like there's mold in the paper back there too. Yeah, and the mold on the bottom of the box. That is terrible. Ah, good grief. This is this is essentially you know worthless now. I mean, Julio Franco, you know he's you know not a Hall of Fame player, but I remember watching him when I was younger. So that is disappointing, very disappointing. And here's one of my favorite uh, balls of all time, and one of my favorite players, Mr. Cub Ernie Banks, who passed away not too long ago. And this is a uh, PSA DNA right there, and Hall of Fame '77. Again, Cubs is my favorite team. Uh, big. Cubs fan ever since I was a little kid. I named my dog Wrigley after Wrigley Field. Hack Wilson was like my favorite player. I remember reading a lot of baseball history growing up. Uh, so that was just amazing. 191 RBIs, 30-something uh, uh, home runs that year too. One of the best seasons of all time, but he bounced out of the league quickly because he was, uh, you know, alcoholic essentially. And um, yeah, then, you know, Ryan Sambert, Andre Dawson, Mark Grace, I mean, there were so many other great players, too, who, you know, Kerry Wood and Mark Pryor, who had injuries and stuff. Uh, Bob Gibson, Hall of Fame 81, really clean. Again, PSA. That's a nice one. So at least some of these ones have managed to, you know, keep intact. And then, you know, I've got the corresponding cards and stuff, usually. I, I don't, I remember having a lot of them in another area, but some of these ones, I guess, I kept with the balls. All right, I've got a few more in here, so stay with me. Uh, this is another one that's damaged mold very disappointing this guy uh pretty sure passed away ray uh, dandridge and a lot of mold on here uh see it's so crazy that is disappointing now, i'm pretty sure his one was a kind of a hard one to get too ah. These are ones, uh, again, I didn't have enough uh, Spiner, uh, Steiner display cases, but the ones that were in the Steiner cape, uh, display cases were just like this one, where it had the damage here, and a lot of the ones wore away the autograph. And here's Duke Snyder, Hall of Fame 80. And uh, JSA. Yeah, all of my ones are usually JSA, PSA. So, Brooklyn Dodger, classic. And here's a Hall of Fame pirate player, Ralph Kiner, Hall of Fame 75. And the PSA hologram logo. Yeah, so I have a few Steiner ones too, Steiner uh, balls. Like that Julio Franco one, unfortunately. But yeah, there's so many of the, the majority of the Hall of Fame uh, balls that I had were the ones that were destroyed in the, in the Steiner display cases. I had a Pete Rose one, uh, Jim Palmer, Monty Irvin, Andre Dawson, uh, Ryan Sandberg, a whole bunch of some of my favorites too. Uh, here's Orlando Cepeda Hall of Fame 99. Again, PSA. So there you go. Those are all the sports memorabilia items I had in that bag. Unfortunately, some of them did have mold in it. I didn't realize that at the time. Uh, but again, uh, I wish I could have shown you my whole collection. I still have some uh, signed football helmets and basketballs and jerseys that are still okay. But the majority of my baseballs were destroyed. Like I had at least 40 something other ones that had mold all over them. Autographs wearing away, big mold spots. Just like you saw a couple in here that had those issues. But those ones should have been protected. They, as soon as I got them, clean, beautiful, put them right in the Steiner display case. It's supposed to be top of the line. You know, the light, no light was really getting on them. There was no, like, there wasn't mold fungus everywhere. There was no, like, water damage anywhere. It was on the bottom floor of a townhouse that was carpeted. I just don't understand how it got in there and ruined them. Like, I, it blows me away. And even some of these ones that were in the bags and and here still got stuff on them. I, very disappointing, but there you go. Uh, let me know what you think of uh, the baseballs and side memorabilia that I showed you, the Jake LaMotta glove. Let me know which one was your favorite of the bunch. 
And if you have any idea to save some of the ones that have the mold on it, let me know. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.